My name is Tim Garner and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Cisco. Today I'm going to be talking about Cisco Titration Analytics. So what drives the need for a new big data analytics platform in the data center? Well, being Cisco we have a unique vantage point into a lot of different customers' data centers and we see the same problems recurring over and over again. Firstly, capturing data for analysis is changing. It used to be that you could put a particular span or tap point in your network. That was okay when 80% of the traffic was north to south. But what we're actually observing in the last couple of years is a complete shift where 80% of the traffic is actually east to west within your data center. What this means is actually capturing all of the data to do analytics on becomes a lot more of a hard problem especially when you're thinking about virtualized workloads where packets might be switched in vSwitches and the like. Alongside that, we're seeing customers expanding the breadth of their data centers. It might be that they used to have one on-premise data center. Now, it's very common to see one data center that also expands out to a number of different cloud locations. But having visibility into all of those different infrastructures is a tricky problem to solve. And finally, the DevOps deployment model, where the application team might be pushing code out every week, day, or hour. How do you get visibility into the applications as they change when they're interacting with your network? And how do you make sure that your network is agile enough to both provision the resources that you need for that application, but at the same time keep it secure and keep your network segmentation policy up to date? Well, this is where Titration Analytics really steps in. Titration Analytics is designed to capture every single packet, at every single flow, at every speed in your data center. Once we capture all of that data, and we do that using software and hardware sensors, we unlock a number of interesting use cases. Firstly, we can get visibility into the entire network in your data center, right down to the per packet variations inside each flow. That means when you're going back in time, and you can use Titration very much as a large time machine for your data center, you can perform incredibly detailed forensic analysis on each flow. Once you have that very granular data, you can then run interesting and novel unsupervised machine learning algorithms to generate the application dependency map of your data center. You can understand how each component interacts with each other and what kind of policies you would need to put in place to generate your network micro-segmentation. But that raises an interesting question. How do you test before you deploy your new policy in the network? Well, because Titration has a huge historical record of every single flow that you've seen, what we can actually do is run simulations where we can prove to you what would happen if you actually deployed this policy into your network. Would we accidentally drop some packets? Would we accidentally open up some holes in your network security policy? Having that data is key. And then in finally, in near real time, the Cisco Titration Analytics platform can monitor every single packet that traverses your network, whether that's north to south or east to west, for compliance with the network segmentation rules that you wish to have in place, and very quickly alert you if any packet is out of policy. So, how do we do this? Well, Titration is made up of three main layers. Firstly, we have a data collection engine. Then we have an analytics engine. And on top of that, we then build different methods for you as the user to access that data. So firstly, we have a software and hardware sensor which streams telemetry towards the analytics cluster at a very fast rate. The reason that we have a software and hardware sensor means that we can support both existing data center infrastructure and we can use the next generation Nexus 9000 switches to pull out even more detailed data from your network. It also means that we can bring in extra context information. So the software sensor can tell us what process owns that flow or what user owns it. The hardware sensor can help us look for microbursts or look for incomplete or incorrect network policy. Alongside the sensor telemetry, we also bring in third party metadata. So this is the types of metadata that you would expect that can annotate extra information to that flow level detail. 
We bring in DNS information, we bring in routing information, we bring in details from higher order configuration management databases like ServiceNow, and we can also bring in load balancer configuration from any single vendor. Now all of this data is combined at the analytics cluster level, which unifies all of the flows and deduplicates every single flow. This can scale up to very large workloads. We're talking about millions of events per second and storing billions of events over time, which means that one appliance can actually even handle multiple data centers worth of analytics traffic. All of that traffic is run through our own unique pipelines, which generate learnings out of the other end. And you, as the customer, can access them from the web UI, a REST API, and also on a message bus, where the events are streamed out. The software sensors support both Linux and Windows operating systems, and you can use it in a virtualized or bare metal environment. The network sensors are supported with the new Nexus 9000 switches with the dash X on the end. But it's important to remember that you can use either or. If you don't have the Nexus 9000 switches, you can just use the software sensors. If you cannot use the software sensors, you can just use the Nexus 9000 switches. Furthermore, both can be combined for even greater effect. Once we have pulled all of that rich data into the analytics cluster, we run it through all of these interesting pipelines and generate out some very useful information for you. Here is an example of an application dependency map that shows all of the connections between the subcomponents, the consumer, the provider relationships, the load balancers that might be in between those different tiers. And this policy can be exported, simulated, and then pushed down directly to your network including the Cisco ACI fabric, where we can push it right down as endpoint groups, contracts, and filter entries. Now, this just scratches the surface of some of the details that we can glean from your network using Titration Analytics. Please visit cisco.com forward slash go forward slash Titration for more information. Thank you.